What's up everyone, it's Wade from PSGD and finally I've had the ability to sit down with the Gran Turismo Sport Beta demo. I've been able to have a bit of a look around and see what's available through the menus and have a bit of a drive and I kind of wanted to do a small first impressions. Now personally I feel like the game is taking a step in the right direction first of all and probably it's a little bit paramount to my experience with Gran Turismo is the menu system. Menu system on one of the, or the major home screen is sort of a bunch of menus across the top and down the side. And it gives you most relevant information that you sort of need to get your hands on. Uh, I feel like there's been a bit of effort going into the menu system, almost to make it not only easy to, ex to access, but to give me a flavor of like, this is the encyclopedia of car driving and racing. You can see these slow motion shots and the slow movement and whatnot, just like categorizing and encompassing a whole bunch of different cars that we can see and really getting that motorsport theme through to you, I guess. Something, uh, and, and maybe we could sort of say at the moment that like when you load Forza 7, you get a bunch of tiles in front of you and a, and a driver standing there with some rock music. Now it's a different experience and it's good, but it's just, I feel like Gran Turismo has sort of gone, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna celebrate the life of cars, right? So one of the things I wanted to do in this video was take out the Porsche 911 and just have a bit of a look at how it sort of goes. Now, there's a couple of things I really don't like at the moment. Whenever you hit a car, it makes this thunk sound. It sounds a bit like a Dodgem car and I don't like it. I thought that could be reworked. I'm, honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Uh, secondly, the, the ratio in which he turns the wheel sometimes, it looks like he's doing a lot of work, like just there for a very minimal turn. And maybe that could be tweaked a little bit. I'm not really sure, but it just, it, it put me off a little bit initially. Car sounds, I think they've worked on them and I think they've, they've pushed harder this time around. I don't think they sound as bad as hair dryers as probably what they did in five, uh, to a little bit of a degree six. I, I think that that has been worked on. Probably one of the other things that caught me was just the fact that whenever you're doing a license test or a mission, I think they're called, if you don't get the medal that you want and you hit retry, you don't get the credits and you don't get the experience. So you have to kind of go through the transaction in order to get that money, to get that experience and to get those points, whoops, and in order to sort of, to sort of bank that. Because if you don't do it, then you just go back and you give it a try again and you get no reward for it. I thought they probably could have come across that a little bit better. Now, one of the good things that I think we should probably go over right at this very point in time when I just lost it was the physics. Now, the physics seem pretty good. I dropped it a couple of times coming out of this specific corner just here because there's a bit of a, a drop on the exit of the turn and just hammering the trigger, I found that the, the 911 would just come over it and I'd lose a little bit of traction on one of the corners and just flip out underneath me. And that's probably a really good thing. The other part is probably the fact that under braking, I feel like I'm squirreling um, and skidding into the turn. And I think that's probably an important thing from the physics perspective as well. So it's good to see those elements. Probably one of the things that really stands out to me at this point in time is the way the cars look. Now I'm gonna show you in a few seconds a different clip and you can have a bit of a judge for it yourself. But if you have a look at this Ferrari as we go past it just there, it kind of feels like it's really there. And it is, you know, it's colored right, it's reflecting the right things. And it's, I don't, it's almost like a real life color, right? I'm not really sure if that's what you can say, but the general tones of this game are a bit flatter. Now I went and recorded this particular part as well, because I wanted to show you, I guess, alongside, not alongside each other, but con consecutively, just the difference in how the games look. Now, this is a much brighter game. Those reds and oranges in the background of the tree line stand out considerably. And you can see, like, in this corner, I'm really having to manhandle this car. Now, it's interesting because I'm sort of a bit confused as to which is the real 911 experience at the moment. Now, being PlayStation Gamer Dad, I'm going to say it's PlayStation, right? <laughs> Naturally. But, you know, sort of wrangling this 911 through Maple Valley, and I know we can't exactly compare apples and apples because we have different tracks and whatnot, but we do have the same car. If I put the power down too much, like I'm always trying to find a grip level with this car in Forza Motorsport 7. And... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, like trying to pitch it in if I come off the throttle too early and then I bring it on too quickly, it sort of can drift out behind me. I mean, we're talking about a very, very powerful car, but we're talking about such different experiences across both games. And that's what's 
kind of interesting at this point in time. You can see the difference in terms of colour as well, to whereas Grand Turismo seems to look a little bit flatter, and I don't know, maybe it is true life colour? I'm not really sure. And Forza 7 is so bright um, and engaging, it's colourful, it's like this big disco song, right? All these different things are happening and you're trying to trying to work out what you like the best about the whole experience. So, yeah, that, look, that's pretty much it for me at the moment. I mean, coming back to Gran Turismo, I'm really, really happy where it's at. I think there's still some tweaks that they could probably make to it in order to, to make it an even better experience. And I think there's a lot of stuff that's gone into sport which has, which has made it better, and I'm really looking forward to the release. But alongside Forza, Forza Motorsport 7, it's an interesting comparison. But guys, that's it for me. I'm coming to the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time. Please like and share. And uh, stick around for more vids as Grand Turismo Sport comes out. You'll probably see a lot more from me. Uh, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch. And until next time, enjoy the PlayStation gaming. See you guys.